Hi, a consultant consulted with me today and um, she had a problem where her client was disappointed and the last email that she got was that the client uh, told her that if you didn't know that we cannot do this, then you should have told me in the first place, right? So if you are not familiar, there are different types of tech consultants and some of them could be L1, L2, L3, L3 L4, right? Um, if you are on the upper echelon, let's say L3, L4, L5, <clears throat> There would be questions or requests that would just come your way and uh, they could in involve some risk. So she was part of like this uh, one enterprise system. So let's say it's an HCM system, right? And the request was basically to resource allocate the human capital, right? Into a project management style of thing, right? So she had to Look, at, look some research, talk to other L3 consultants and say, hey, can we do this, right? The problem with this type of request is sometimes there's a risk. And even if you did call it out, somebody has to pay for that uh, research, right? <clears throat> the problem with uh, that request is that when you find out midway that it is something that cannot be done, the project has to remaneuver. So I don't know if the requester was a project manager, but based on the request, it was more of like, hey, I need to know if there is, you know, you need to pull data from, uh, you know, from this business object into this business object to help me decide on the trade-off of should I do something. So it's more of like a resource allocation, uh, uh, economics type of problem where you would want to allocate your resource optimally, right? <clears throat> I was saying like, um, and she was scared to go back to the client saying, hey, I can't do it because we tried to do it, but it's not possible. So she felt bad about it. And I told her like, and the way you can use this information really is just be aware of where you're at. Be aware where at you're at, where you're at. Because if you're working with an HCM system, there is no perfect system. Yes. I think there was one of my um, one of my uh, mentors told me like there's no perfect system. There is no end-to-end -end enterprise system that has the ERP, the HCM, a project management project management module, has Salesforce, and all of that, right? Um, procurement, no, there's nothing like that right now in the market. So basically the request for was for the HM to be something like a project management tool. So it is a bad request to begin with because you're trying to push a, an HCM consultant to do a PM type of thing. Now that means you have to rework the entire feature of the, the design, system design. It's just like expecting that you're going to request for you know a teacher to do, uh, I don't know, project management. Right, so there's a the very different system, and you're expecting a different output. And she was caught in the middle of trying to say, "Hey, I shouldn't be doing that." So I, I, I put her into context and say, "You're in a situation where you're a consultant for this tool, which you should be promoting your tool, right? That it can do everything, right? Um, and there are obvious things that you, it cannot do. But be aware and be, you have to put it like this is a risk. Are you willing to take this risk?" You know, there's some stakeholders that are going to do it, but then you have to be careful because if the last response was, I'm not happy with this, there is no action. As a consultant, you should go back to your client and say, what do we do now, right? I can decide, and this is what I recommend, <clears throat> right? But do you want to proceed trying to put it for this, right? I can try to look for other resources, right? I could try um, asking within the community or whatever that uh, HM community is, or that, uh, you know, get, whatever, you wanna ask somewhere. But that doesn't mean that you should be solving that because you are not the inheritor of that system as an employee. As a consultant, you have limitations to what you can do and what you can promise and what you should say as a risk that may or may not be done. So I'm gonna put this in my own example <clears throat> where you will be placed into situations where expectations are very, very high and you have to call things out and document them properly. And it has always worked in my favor if I document the risks I call out. Because I've, I've experienced some people that they say, oh, no, this was entirely your responsibility or something like that, right? When you call it out, this is a risk, right? I can say, I probably can do this. I cannot do this. And these are the risks. Do you want to take it, right? Let's say it's going to be a study of like two days, right? That will forego all, all other stuff. I'll be billing you for this much and then maybe half, a long, half, half the way I'll discover that it cannot be done. So take this with a grain of salt and be careful when you use this. 
But in cases that you have unreasonable requests, say no. It just comes in a different form or fashion. But, you know, in, in that case, the expectation was far off from, from the very beginning because of the you know, system design expectation. Okay, I hope this, that was helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.